Welcome to Cool Outdoors. So today we're going to cover where to find bass, not after the grass is dead, but as it's starting to die. So please wait for the next 10 seconds. If you haven't subscribed here, subscribe. Remember to hit that thumbs up and to share. Okay guys, we need to remember in the spring and summer we will always find the bass in the grass. Kind of rhymes if you remember bass and grass, you will find some bass. But as bass or as fishermen, we need to understand the life cycle of the bass. The only grass that doesn't die is hydrilla. Hydrilla goes dormant. So if you find hydrilla, I show you put a waypoint on it because that bass that grass is always going to have bass on it because it's going to be green. The greener the grass, the better. So when the grass starts to die, always look for the green stuff. The greener the better. And, and look for cattails and reeds. Those are your grasses that you're going to find them in no matter what's going on. So just say we've gotten past that. So we're going to start looking for fishing fish fish lanes. We're going to look for holes within the, the area. These are going to be awesome places. Remember, dying vegetation creates new ambush points and you get three to four weeks of excellent fishing while the back grass is dying. Remember, and really, one really cool thing is areas that were once only accessible with a frog are now accessible for other types of lures and a lot of times these bass have not seen these lures in a long time and they will aggressively strike them so you will be able to catch fish that weren't actively catchable before by fishing the these areas where the frog was the only thing able to fish so now that we see the grass is dying we need to start planning the way the exodus the fish are going to exit from the grass and after they exit we got to figure out how to where to go and this is this is natural. All good things have to come to an end. But remember, the bass are going to cling to the green stuff as long as possible. So if you find green grass, no matter what time of year it is, fish it. Look for those bass in there. But if you can't find green grass anywhere, start looking for wood and rocks. Both of these are going to be heated by the sun and creates a little bit warmer water there, creating active fish. To cover this water, I highly recommend using crankbaits. And remember, the fish, you want to fish with moving fish, and the, one of the best places in the area to look is your rip wrap, any bridges you have, and boat ramps. All this is made of stuff that are going to help change the water temperature and make it a little warmer, and you might be able to catch some bass in this area just because the water is a little warmer. I hope that these tips have helped you out today. I am your host of Cole Outdoors, Derek Cole, reminding you, just keep fishing and have fun. Until next time. Later.